time for your health beat. Every year in the U.S., more than one million Americans suffer a burn that needs medical attention. They're a common cause of accidental death among children and adults. And a team of Sacramento first responders and medical professionals want you to know a simple tip that's helping people across the world. A decades-long Australian practice is traveling overseas. After the burn injury has happened, there's still a lot of thermal heat trapped under the skin and that's still burning underneath that wound that you can see from the outside. So what we're trying to do is to mediate that depth from progressing down and that can keep on happening for days after the injury. These researchers from Queensland, Australia have cracked the code and they're in Sacramento to spread the word. It's called 20CRW and you don't need any medical training. It's as simple as water. Let me walk you through how this works. So let's say you accidentally touch a hot stove. This one isn't on, but your first thought might be to cover the burn. What you really want to do is cool it. So you'll walk over to the sink, turn on the cool running water, and place the burn underneath it for at least 20 minutes. It doesn't have to be done all at the same time. It can be, but it needs to be done as a total of 20 minutes in the first three hours. Kaiser Permanente's Dr. Kevin Mackey is the medical director for the Sacramento Fire Department, and he recently traveled to Australia. Their burn center was empty, not a single kid in the burn center. And I said, how, how is it possible that a, the National Burn Center doesn't have any patients right now? It's because every citizen in Australia knows this. The degree of scarring goes way down. The degree of needing for grafts, skin grafts, goes way down. Pain goes down, hospitalization goes down. Everything that we think about a burn that creates not only the immediate effects, but the long-term effects are mitigated by just a simple act. It's care you can do while you call for help. Fire crews pick up when they arrive and the hospital could finish. So Griffin and the research team originally reached out to the UC Davis Burn Institute, which led to its emergency department getting involved, and then, of course, the first responders you saw there. Now, with Sacramento's fire department having such a large presence, that's why the research team decided to team up and visit in person. 20CRW worked in Australia because there was a united front in all levels of care. And now these agencies are in talks to do billboards and school visits just to get the word out about it.